We're coming to the uh, dedication of the Reno Star. I'm uh, Andrew Klinger, Reno City Manager. I did want to recognize we have Mary Ska here from Senator Reed's office. Pleasure to introduce his honor, Reno Mayor Bob Cashel. Close to getting it. Very close to getting it. Uh, thank all of you for being here. Really appreciate it. This is a great piece of art. I, I know not a lot about art, so one day at the Nevada Museum of Art, we had a world-renowned artist, a landscape artist, and so I asked him. I said. Tell me what tell me what I'm supposed to see in this piece of art. And he, he said, that's what you're supposed to see. So I love it, the controversy and everything, and this is a beautiful piece. And Bill Thornton, thank you very much for everything you've done and helping us with this and the other art programs we have. Art is really a, a, a way of showing the culture and everything we have in this community and what's good and what's bad, and the art is great. And I'll tell you, not everybody's gonna love it. And that's when I knew this was a great piece of art. Because I had people tell me, that, what is that? And I had people tell me what a wonderful piece it is. So I know it's great art and we're tickled to death. And thank you for being here. And Julie Conway, you have a few words to say. And I never follow scripts. Oh, wait a minute, where is it? Where's Dave Isaac? Ladies and gentlemen, this guy, the whole time he's on that council, 16 years, they've never had a better person representing the arts community than Dave Isaac. He went overboard, he worked on it, and uh, he's very dedicated to it and been a great leader in our community of helping us diversify our art and everything. A couple of people, a couple of pieces he brought before me, I looked at him like he's crazy as hell, but uh, it turned out to be very beautiful, and he does great work. Thanks for being here, Dave. Now, Julie Conway. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, my name is Julie Conway, and I have the pleasure of being uh, not only a resident who gets to uh, enjoy this wonderful piece, but I am also the Parks and Recreation Community Services Director for the City of Reno. And I get to serve you as citizens, and as well as uh, all of the rest of the individuals who will see this wonderful piece, the visitors and others as they drive by. So as the mayor indicated, we have a lot of people to thank, and I'm glad that he mentioned former Councilor Dan, uh, Dave Iozzi right over here, because uh, Dave, maybe uh, most of you probably don't know this, Dave actually uh, uh, stored the, the remnants of this piece before it became the art that we see today uh, at his uh, warehouse and, uh, and really saved it. And so we're really pleased about that. So what I'd like to do today is just to be able to give you some of the people that we need to thank because without the, um, the generosity and the dedication, and I know you hear those words, but that's how public art happens in this community, you would not see this. It was a very collaborative effort to get this piece here today between the city of Reno, the Reno <coughs> Sports Convention and Visitors Authority, and the Devo Nevada Department of Transportation, who actually owns the land on which this piece stands. And we, the city of Reno has a lease for it, so we thank them as well. The city is actually a repurposed piece of art. It was previously, the, the, the uh, materials were previously owned by the RSCBA and Reno Convention, um, Sports Convention and Visitors Bureau. And um, NDOT, uh, working with the city of Reno and RSCBA, we uh, looked at what those pieces could become. And working with the uh, city of Reno Public Arts Commission, all of this came together and then came the funding. We'd like to do something, but what are, how do we do something with those pieces of metal, of steel and aluminum, and what should they become? And that's, that's what we're so excited about today. Uh, the city is funding the Reno Star through room tax dollars that are earmarked for public art, and we also have finances through private donations. Uh, numerous contributions came in to put this together and I'm looking at our artists here and they're beaming because without those contributions this would not happen. A big thank you 
to Mr. Bill Thornton and his family. Bill, please raise your hand if you would. Bill is, and his family have contributed generously to this project, uh, $12,500 and effort beyond belief. And Bill has committed, early, early on, he committed to raising more than half the funds for the project by going out in the community before anybody knew about this, working with us, working with the commission saying, I'm willing to do this, let's make this happen. We're gonna hear a little bit more from Bill a little bit later on. Um, also, Reno Iron Works has donated $18,000 in materials to make the design for the star happen. So let's give it up for Reno Iron Works. Thank you, Reno Iron Works. Is anybody here today from Reno Iron Works? I don't see them. No, I don't see them, but thank you for that. We thank the Cultural Arts Foundation of the Community Foundation of Western Nevada for an $8,500 grant, and that also contributed to this cause. Thank them, if you will, by applause. That's important. The War II Central and South uh, uh, Neighborhood Advisory Board contributed $6,000 in community pride grants, which they have the ability to allocate those funds, and they contributed that $6,000, and we appreciate their contribution. And let me say, that's a, those are volunteer citizens that look at these projects and make those decisions. So they had the ability to make those funds go anywhere, but they wanted to put it on this project. So let's thank Ward 2 Central and South Neighborhood Advisory Boards. Anybody here from those two boards? There we go, thank you. Let's say thank you to her afterwards. So we want to thank our local businesses who have contributed to the uh, Reno Star, including Jim and Marianne Kidder. Are the Kidders here? I thought I saw them. Where are the Kidders? There they are. They're hiding over here. Thank you so much. Thank you to the Kidders. Uh, we talked about Reno Ironworks. The Diamond Vault is Mark here. There he is. Thank you so much, Mark. I appreciate that. Reno, the Diamond Vault and the Kishman Group Super 8 Motel. Is the manager here, the general manager here for them? No, but we thank them for that. And then in the near future, we look to the company Solar Array to help uh, light this sculpture courtesy of Black Rock Solar. So that's exciting. Thank you, thank you. So we're gonna see uh, more light on it and you're, that's gonna be fa fantastic. So now I'd like to introduce the chair of, as I mentioned, the Reno Arts and Culture Commission, Art Demagala, and he's going to say a few words uh, about uh, the role of the commission. Come on up, Art. Let's give it up for Art. So I uh, yeah, just wanted to say a few words about the uh, long and convoluted road that this piece uh, went through to get here. Um, as has been mentioned, this actually was the culmination of a repurposing of an old industrial materials uh, from a previous art installation uh, that was at the Reno Convention Center. Uh, so with the RHCVA donating the materials for this installation, the Arts and Culture Commission sought the help of uh, Burning Man and the Black Earth Black Rock Arts Foundation to find an artist that could creatively use these materials and repurpose them into uh, what you see here today. Uh, the site presented itself as ideal during the process of our uh, search for what could we do with these materials, where can we put them. Um, this One of the reasons it was so ideal also was that uh, as we took into consideration this area is familiar with many of the uh, burners who travel these crossroads here on their way to acquire provisions for their stay at the playa. Uh, our artist, Mark Shulget, uh, and his collaborator, Brooke Erdman, they took the Reno Started Burning Man uh, last year, where over 50,000 people had a chance to see the sculpture. And then after that, the sculpture was brought back here, installed, given its final paint job, and, and here we are. Uh, we think it's fantastic also that the artist employed numerous local businesses in Reno to transform the old materials into this new sculpture. Uh, in so many ways, this sculpture is associated with the message of revitalization. It's repurposed old materials. It's been placed at this intersection that's uh, undergone these aesthetic renovations. Uh, it's on a piece of land that was previously empty, unused, somewhat um, unattractive, let's say. And it's, it's been uh, re-energizing our community and it's a reaffirmation of the city's pivot to being a leader in arts and culture. So just once more, we want to thank everyone involved, uh, the city, uh, the Black Rock Arts Foundation, Burning Man, NDOT, RCVA, Black Rock Solar, 
uh, local businesses, citizens, the Ward 2 Neighborhood Advisory Board, they all had a great part in making this happen. Uh, we express our deepest gratitude and we're very excited that the city continues to embrace arts and culture and we're very excited to have this new landmark here in Reno. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming. It's a, been a pleasure to be involved with so many wonderful people on this project. And today is the official day for turning it over to the public. So happy birthday and uh, we'll let the public decide what it will be. I looked at the law uh, before I came out here on junkyards and it said that if you had used junk within a thousand feet of the freeway, it was considered to be a public nuisance. So we can go from that point forward and I hope to do another poll in a couple of weeks to find out how the public likes the project. Thank you. Mark? How are you? Fine, how are you? Good. I was going to say your last name, but you got to tell me how to say it first. Zolgit. Zolgit? Yeah. Okay, Mark Zolgit, the artist. Thank you. Uh, Howdy, thank you. Uh, hey. Woo hey. 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 Uh, I, I'm, I'm behalf of myself and uh, my collaborating artist and the, the Reno Star. Uh, I would like to thank everyone involved. I believe everyone here had a hand in, in uh, make manifesting this sculpture. Special thanks to uh, Christina Fay, our closest collaborating partner, and uh, Bill Thornton, of course, and numerous others uh, who put it together with Reno Ironworks and Black Arc Solar and, and Weigel Concrete, and uh, the, the list uh, goes on. Nadia Olivero, Dave Iazzi. Uh, I'd like to thank the Burning Man organization as well for their support uh, on the playa and, and making this happen. Uh, it, it's nice to bring this uh, two sister cities together, uh, Birdie Man and Reno, who both share a love for the arts. And uh, it's nice to see this, this nice turnout here for everyone else who's uh, loving the arts and for all the citizens of Reno to share this together. It's your sculpture now from today forward. Uh, its meaning is uh, an enigmatic even to myself, and I hope everyone's attributing their own uh, meaning to it. I think the mayor touched on that uh, earlier. And uh, as we grow and mature as individuals, I'm sure the sculpture will grow and mature on us as well and <clears throat> take on new meaning for the future generations of the city. <clears throat> We've heard some wonderful feedback already. Uh, the desert plant, the Western heritage, Reno's free spirit, uh, spurs, cactus, a, a native headdress. It's thrilling for me as an artist to, to invoke ideas, to, to make people uh, stop in their tracks, to look up and say, uh, what, uh, why, what's, what's the fuss, uh, it's not uh, advertising anything, it's not uh, housing anything, it's not useful in any way, and, and I'm, I'm really proud that it's completely useless, <laughs> and it's just there Very for dark. pure enjoyment. Very <laughs> dark. Uh, over this last year we visited Reno uh, nearly a dozen times, and it's uh, been a pleasure uh, making new friends here in Reno and uh, making friends with the city, it's this eclectic city. And uh, Reno will always, uh, always be in our hearts. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's Thank all you. yours. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell you, uh, ladies and gentlemen, as I said earlier, not everybody can read the same thing in the art. And as you said, this means different things to different people, and that's what art's about, I think. Absolutely. And we really appreciate you and what you've done and the uh, leading in our community, and we hope to work with you a lot more and see what we can do. Well, I but look forward you. to it. And there, here's a little plaque oh. and, uh, to you, Mark, uh, presented you. by the city, and we really appreciate it. You've done a great job here, and I, I love hearing people talk about it. And there's, everybody talks about it. 
uh, good and different, whatever, but the different people have different meanings of it. And as you said, that's what makes it a beautiful piece. But thank you a lot. Thank Appreciate you. you. Thank you. Another thing that this gentleman's doing, I want to tell you about Bill Thornton. We used to have a big clock downtown Reno by Hers Brothers, no, Ginsburg Jewelry downtown. They used to be able to see it up and down Virginia Street. It's a beautiful old clock. Well, Bill and his family are refurbishing that clock right now. And we're going to have it displayed downtown. And here in probably May or June, they'll finish. And it's been a year that they've been working on it. And Bill, we really appreciate it. And thank you very much. Really do. Thank you. We've got a room set aside over at the Great Basin after this ceremony is over, and I want to invite everyone to come over there if you have time and visit and warm up. Ladies and gentlemen, right now we're going to have a program put on by the Control Burn, and uh, I'm going to get real close to them see if I can warm up. <laughs> and uh, I want to ask the arts, the culture, and art. Couldn't we have done this at noon or one when it was still warm? <laughs> Did we just pick it this time so we could freeze our buns off? Huh? Duly noted. Duly noted. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. <laughs> but thank y'all. Now we'll go for the performance. Thank you. You're on.